Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety system. This topic will be on Sys file safe and file danger modes. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. What is file safe in Sys? A file safe system is one which, due to the characteristics of its equipment and components, and the way in which they are integrated is guaranteed that in the event of any fault appearing, the system will always go to a safe status, normally affecting the availability but never and in no case affecting safety. Meaning, the safety systems are designed and, and engineered in such a way that it always takes care of the plant safety in case of any hazardous event happening, takes action and shuts the respective valves, shut the respective equipment to make sure that the plant is kept in safe operating condition, meaning conditions in such case arises, the plant uh, operation may stop, the production of that particular facility may go down, but the safety is being ensured. This is the most critical point while designing the safety instrumented system. The concept of a safe state, moreover, does not have to be in itself self-contained that is to say perhaps some conventions or rules of use or operation of such equipment or system should be established this will help all parties to assume that entrance to this safe state meaning all the components within the safety instrumented system sensor logic solver and final control elements and associated subcomponents are tested frequently at the desired intervals and ensure that the availability is there because as we have seen and uh, discussed in earlier presentations the safety systems is a passive system it is just kept ready and it is not acting unlike a control system whereas sensors are sensing and the dvcs controller is giving action to the valve the control valve is always behaving it may be moving maybe 0.5% or 1% or 2% or 5% depending on the need or depending on the requirement. Whereas safety instrumented system valves, they are not, uh, not doing any control. They are taking preventive action during hazardous conditions. So the systems are ready to act but in a passive mode. In CIS, the crucial thing is understanding that the activation of safe states and degraded modes can sometimes be conventional that are implemented in the operation and use of the system in order to ensure safety of the system. This is not always the case but it can become a strategic resource to be implemented in order to solve a problem of safety. So the safe state, which, which is the safe state, it can be either uh, the valve can go to close or it can go to open. So the fail safe condition according to the process, according to the engineering process requirement it has to be decided during the engineering phase and implemented the plant so the fail safe action is a vital thing to understand so for the safety instrumented system this is arrived depending on the process criticality depending on the occurring the equipment availability what will happen when this particular area goes in for a shutdown that has to be taken care during the engineering phase and the plants has to be decided and the fail safe condition for the respective system instruments has to be identified. For example, in a boiler system, there are gas, fuel gas valves. They are having normally two valves in series and one valve has a vent valve in between the main two valves. So these two valves is always in open condition as long as the plant is standing and the boiler is firing. Whenever there is any requirement, uh, due to plant requirement in the pressure, gas pressure going high, the two valves will shut down. That means these two main valves will close and the vent valve which remains closed in a normal operating condition will go to open when the, whenever there is any shutdown of the boiler or any hazard uh, condition happening and the safety instrumented system calling for a closure of the two main valves. In this time, the vent valve goes for open in order to ensure that all the gases trapped in the line pipeline goes to the atmosphere. This is one example. CIS fails concept 
or intrinsically safe system. This is based on using components with well established and limited failure modes. And that in the event of fail, a safe operating condition is maintained. That is, for any of the possible failures, assume a possible impact on availability but never on safety. So, again, it is being explained and described in a different way. Systems are designed in such a way that the availability can get compromised, whereas the safety can never be compromised. In this example, transmitter is sensor of a high level safety instrumented function. Transmitter fails high, going to shutdown. Also, known as safe failure because the failure does not have the potential to put sys in a hazardous or fail to function state. This is going to protect the equipment or protect the boiler or protect any firing device, for example. So, it is going to a safe state. Safe failures shall be avoided as each shutdown and each startup are the most critical situations in a plant operation. Meaning, the plant startup and shutdown requiring a lot of manpower, a lot of uh, maneuvers to work on to bring the plant to a normal operating condition from the zero state, from the cold state to a operating condition. Similarly, when the plants are in the production, it takes time maybe depending on the plant capacity, depending on the plant nature, it, it takes half a day, one day or two days. So, the plant uptime and, and downtime is most critical. So, the safe failures, that is why there are some smart instruments are available these days. Those kind of uh, instruments can be put in service as and when possible, whenever any new facility for assist instrumentation is being added to the plant facility or any new process area is being built, wherein the safety instrumented systems are going to be there. So, they can be designed for the fail safe condition. So, there the possibility of adding latest uh, type of smart instrumentation. This can do the smart verifications, can run diagnostics to identify any possible failures. Those kind of instruments can be considered. What is fail danger in SIS? In SIS, fail to danger is a failure mode of the protection system that becomes shut down if there is a failure in any of its components. See, in a fail to save, the some of the failures on the respective field instruments or valves can be identified by doing a regular proof testing or doing a visual inspection um, by running the diagnostics on the smart instruments. So, the nature of uh, failure can be identified and isolated. The possibility there is a possibility of isolation of such failures uh, beforehand. Whereas, in fail to danger, this failure is a blind one, so which cannot be determined. It is an unknown failure. That is why it is known as fail to danger. Fail to danger fault of a hazardous condition arising the equipment process or plant will continue to operate without being tripped, but it has a direct and detrimental effect on the safety. The safety instruments are designed and implemented in such a way that it always takes care of the safety and ensure that the plants are getting shut down due to any hazardous condition arises to ensure that safety is always available. Whereas in fail to danger modes, there is a possibility because the type of failure is unknown. There could be a plugage in the safety instrumented system sensor which is not giving a proper flow for the sensing element and the sensing element may properly sense and it may not sense, it could be you know 50-50. So, meaning that the sensor is not functioning properly as expected, but the choke is not complete. For example, it started uh, plugging the line, chemical getting formed in the impulse tubing. Just like that it will not happen in one day, it may take weeks, months to get completely choked. But, but what that uh, maintenance technicians will do, he will go and calibrate the transmitter, you will see the readings, you will see the range in the transmitter, for example, it is a 0 to 10 kg per centimeter pressure transmitter, you will go and do the calibration on the instrument, instrument may work properly 
and you will say that there is no issue on the instrument and you will make a flushing if the the line is allowed to be flushed then he may do a flushing one time and see that everything is okay but again after a certain period of time for example a week or month or something it can again go into choking and start giving a false reading eventually it may lead to a trip of the particular facility particular process equipment so that's why it's known as a dangerous failure it's actually the process is running at a proper pressure design pressure but the instrument was giving a false reading leading to a trip of the particular process facility so this is one possibility similarly electrical relay contacts get struck see if the safety instrument system is having a one relay in the uh, switch gear so the safety instrument system logic solver is giving a command based on the input for example the power of the motor or pump so whenever the power is uh, with certain limits the power is exceeding such limit it will go for a trip for example due to, it can happen due to you know overloading of the motor or overloading of the pump due to the uh, motor bearing uh, getting jammed or pump impeller getting jammed there could, there could be a number of reasons so which may cause for a drawing, drawing a higher power by the motor eventually it is calling for a safety instrument system to act and the command will go from the plc logic solver to act on the uh, switch gear for tripping the motor but in certain cases the contacts may get struck and even though the command going from the plc it may not act it will not do the change over only when the contact change over for example it is moving from closed contact to the open contact then only the power to the control circuit of the switch gear can cut off and thereby trip the stop the pump if the contacts get jammed and it doesn't uh, move even after the relay signal is coming so that is one kind of failed danger so which may eventually result in the pump keep on running even though there is a command to stop the pump so this is known as a failed danger condition so this is what happened there is a requirement for the pump to stop due to the hazardous reason but the command is going from the logic solver to close uh, to stop the pump whereas due to the fault in the electrical relay it keeps on running so this is another kind of failed danger condition so this is one brief uh, picture showing the safe and dangerous failures in the failure modes there are safe failures and dangerous failures which will fail safe and fail danger what you have seen in the earlier slides and in the safe also again we have detected and undetected failures not detected failures in dangerous mode also there is detected failure and not detected failures uh, the command for the particular equipment uh, stop is going and the type of failure is can be understood and the type of uh, the nature of uh, fault occurring which cannot be understood that is known as not undetected failure actually these are the different terminologies there are some calculations to arrive at there is some mathematical time known as lambda being used for understanding the failures those kind of detailed descriptions and mathematical calculations can be understood you go for a detailed safety instrument system training okay that is a certification training by conducted by different agencies and uh, this is in the, during the failure in the production can affect which, which can affect the product quality and which, which can result in the loss of production and life of the equipment gets degraded during the failure life of the equipment gets degraded and which is getting degraded after the installation due to the aging of the plant aging of the instrument and equipment it gets degraded eventually the control system components also gets degraded this is what depicted in the failure conditions uh, uh, diagram okay thank you for watching